Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome tonight. It's good to be here, and I am certainly thankful for the privilege of being able to be back here tonight. I appreciate uh, uh, I wondered when I watched the live stream this morning what Stephen was doing. I didn't know quite, you know, when you're looking at that, I'm going, do I need to come home or not? And, uh, but uh, anyway, he shared with me what he did, and so... Uh, in order to keep that surprise for my mother, and she was very surprised. And so thank you for uh, allowing me that privilege of being able to take her to church this morning. She's 93 years old, still plays the piano for a church. She's been playing for nine years and uh, also teaches Sunday school class. And so I was the guest in a mature ladies Sunday school class this morning, and uh, which I was told that they don't let any men in, so I'm not sure what that means about me, but anyway, uh, it was a great day, and, and I appreciate that so much. We have so much to be thankful for, but yet we also want to remember those that are, are always hurting and struggling during times such as these, and so we just want to ask the Lord to bless and to watch over them. I'm excited about tonight because uh, Stephen and I had talked about this, oh, about a, over a month ago, I guess it was, in planning uh, for this uh, service tonight. But I want to read just a couple of verses out of Psalm 98. It says this, Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of a psalm, with trumpets and the sound of a horn. Shout joyfully before the Lord, the King. And tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to celebrate through the worship of song. And we're going to hear the gospel tonight in these songs. And I know you are going to be blessed. So thank you for coming and joining tonight. Let's begin as we go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you for all the gifts of life that you have given to us. As James tells us, every good and every perfect gift comes from above. And so, Lord, as we've just celebrated Thanksgiving, and Lord, we have so much to be thankful for. Most of all, we thank you that you are our Savior. And that, Lord, you have promised us you will never leave us nor forsake us. And so, Father, thank you for walking with us through the ups and downs of life. And so tonight, as we gather together and as we hear our choir, our ensemble, as we hear our quartet and as we uh, hear the soloist, Lord, I pray that, God, you would be exalted and you would be glorified tonight. We love you and we praise you tonight, as the psalmist said. And, Lord, may we shout with joy because of who we are, because of you. We're your children, and we thank you for the privilege of being called one of God's family. So, Lord, it's in your name that we worship and we celebrate tonight, and we pray this in your name. Amen. I raise the hallelujah in the presence of
We, we worked hard. We think we got everything right, but uh, it's, an, it's an open rehearsal. All right, if I get lost or something, you know, I think about something else or like see something shiny, you know, then we may have to start over. But, but we don't plan any of that stuff happening. Uh, I, the, the choir voted on some of their favorite songs that they like, so we're just going to get to them. We're going to go from one to the other, and I hope and pray you enjoy it. It blesses your heart.
got here about 4.15 this afternoon, he was already here. Uh, so I appreciate him. Uh, he's he's going to do a couple of songs. Scott Lee's sur- music need worship in the contemporary service uh, right now. So m- many of y'all don't get to hear him, but uh, you, you will enjoy a couple of songs, please, Scott. Well, before I get started, I wanted to, to say that I'm sort of a newbie here, and uh, I've gotten to know s- some of you uh, through different interactions through Sunday school and through, I think, Preston, you were the first one I met. Uh, and uh, and um, I just wanted to tell you that two words that describe this church to me, and there could be a ton of superlatives, but joy and love. Uh, you guys are just a, a joy. Everything that you do, the, 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 things that you, the things in which you serve, the way that you carry yourselves, the way that you are excited to be before God and before His and with His people. You you just show your joy, and that's just contagious. And to make a fella feel loved. I'm telling you, never. This is it is evident that God has put together a special group of people to do special things for Him. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. Uh, second thing I wanted to say is uh, um, uh, the songs. Uh, thanks for. Stephen to invite me to do two songs tonight, and the first one is kind of a, a courtroom setting, if you will. It's a story song, as a courtroom setting. Now, have we got any lawyers with us? Any lawyers here? Okay. Well, I was just going to say, uh, you know, you heard the one, that the, the guy uh, needs a lawyer. He calls the lawyer, and a law office lawyer answers the phone. He says, how much would it be to answer three questions? And the lawyer says, $1,000. And he said, that much? And he said, yeah, $1,000. What's your third question? <laughs> now, some of y'all get that on the way home. <laughs> anyway. So this is it's a, a courtroom setting, if you will. He was led into the room, a prisoner in chains. When the moment came, he was made to stand for the ruling to be named. He braced himself in fear, his guilty crimes were plain. And as an enemy of right, he knew that justice would reign. But as he heard the verdict, he could hardly believe his ears. His heart was overcome as he wiped away the tears. Innocent, freed from all your sins, no longer an enemy, but considered a friend. Forgiven, the price for you was paid. You're free to walk in righteousness. The sacrifice was made. How could this be true? He'd been guilty for so long. Then another was let in, who he knew had done no wrong. The sentence was given. They said that justice had been served. But the one who was forgiven, he couldn't believe what he'd just heard. As they grabbed the innocent, He turned and said to me, I did this because I love you. Now, my friend, you are free. Innocent, freed from all your sins, no longer an enemy, but considered a friend. for you was paid you're free to walk in righteousness the sacrifice was made 
But what am I supposed to do With this new life that I've been given He turns to me And shows the life I should live Abide with me Keep my commands Love your neighbor as yourself In this grace in which you stand Forgiven The price for you was paid Now you're free to walk in righteousness You're free to walk in righteousness You're free to walk in righteousness Sacrifice was made. I once was lost in darkest night, yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy and life had led me to the grave I had no hope that you would own a rebel to your will and if you had not loved me first I would refuse you still But as I ran my hell-bound race Indifferent to the cost You looked upon my helpless state And led me to the cross And I beheld God's love displayed You suffered in my place you bore the wrath reserved for me now all I know is grace hallelujah all I have is Christ hallelujah Jesus is my life. Now, Lord, I would be yours alone and live so all might see the strength to follow your commands could never come from me. Oh, Father, use my ransom life in any way you choose and let my song forever be my only boast is you hallelujah all I
we're down to the last song. Uh, but isn't it nice? I tell you, I, I, I'm so proud of, to stand in front of these folks and, and our quartet. I know I can listen to them all day. Thank you, Scott. Uh, ensemble. It has been a wonderful night thus far. Uh, if you ask them what their favorite part of the week is, most of them are going to say Wednesday nights at choir rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best part of the week. Wednesdays are a long day for most people. We get to end it this way. We sing songs, and they all like the stuff I like. It's been a miracle that I, I get to sing all my favorite songs, and they never back up. We, we all know, and we understand, and we acknowledge that the Lord has been very, very good to us and to, to our choir. Amen. He has blessed us beyond anything we ever imagined, this, get, being able to sing all these songs. Uh, the, the last one we're going to sing um, Every place we've ever uh, that I've ever been where we sung this, it's, it's been just a miracle. Uh, I, was, I was telling Scott before church, I, I went to a church once and I was looking through the music library and there was a box of music back there that says, do not sing. So, okay. So I took it out and it was the majesty and glory of your name. The, the, the best-selling anthem of, uh, in history of, of all time. Uh, and again, I was telling Scott before church, it was not, not odd or anything, but to me, two of the songs that they picked as their favorites are settings of hymns, even in the valley and the majesty and glory of your name. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it is by far the most difficult song that we've ever done or probably ever will do. Uh, but we'll sing it from our hearts and I hope it blesses yours as much as it blesses ours every time we do it. Thank you. 
this is what Christmas is all about. Celebrating him who deserves all glory, honor, and praise. I pray that as we begin the Christmas season, that you have been challenged and you have been reminded again of keeping Jesus as the reason for the season. We celebrate him, we worship him, and we honor him. And thank you, choir. Thank you, quartet. Thank you, ensemble. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Stephen, for putting this all together tonight. But most of all, thank you, Jesus. We have the greatest gift in all the world. Let's go and share it. Because so many, so very many, have no clue what you and I have just experienced here tonight. They don't understand what having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is all about. And if you're here tonight and you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, I hope and pray that you will hear the Spirit as he speaks to your heart through the words of these songs. And Scott, thank you for the courtroom song. Powerful. Because that's what Jesus did. That's why he came to set us free, to declare us innocent when we receive his son as our personal Lord and Savior. And if you've not done that, I want to encourage you to do that. But if you already have and you are a follower of Christ, then I pray that we will be challenged as we face this Christmas season to go and to share the good news just like the wise men did, just like the shepherds did after they experienced seeing Jesus they went and they told the story. And so I pray that we will do that. Let's stand together. And it's been a long time since we've done this, but let's make our big circle down here. We can actually, we've got room to do it tonight. So let's have our circle of prayer tonight as we close and just be lifting up one another. There's a lot of needs and there's a lot of hurts and difficulties in our church family right now. And so we pray that... Um, God would just minister to them. And thank you for the glorious privilege of serving you here at First Baptist Church, Somerville. This is home. And I pray that as Scott has shared that you'll continue sharing that love and that joy. And I tell you, Scott, that's one of the things that amazed me very quickly when I first came here was just the spirit of God's gracious love and mercy. And so tonight, let's just join together in prayer. And I would like to ask for several folks, if you would tonight, as I come down, if some of you would just give a one word, just one word. If you say more than one, I'm going to cut you off, okay? One word of blessing that you're thankful for. 